Hey, welcome back guys. It's your girl Jungle Naps, aka Jensine, coming at ya. So this is day three of seven days of holiday sleigh. Uh, do you hear sleigh bells ringing? Cause uh, I sure do. <laughs> I got that from a fellow subby of mine. So uh, props to you girl for coming up with that. I really, really, really love that. So today's look, features an OG favorite of mine, the Naked Palette. Now, I used to use this so much when I first got into makeup, and I was like, you know what? We gotta bring this back. We gotta bring it back. So this uh, is what today's eye look is all about. And I tried a couple new things and I figured today I would start with skincare because I feel like skincare is so important and that's what really makes your makeup look great. So yeah. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you're new here and please, please, please give this a thumbs up if you liked the video. And yeah, I'm just, I'm super, super feeling this look. I found a new favorite eyeliner pen, so you gotta stick around and make sure you watch the video to see what that is. So let's get started. I'm gonna start off with a little bit of skincare because my skin has just been feeling a little bit dry now that the weather's cooler. So I got this cute little, um, it's like a lip scrub. It's called Indie Beauty and it's their Buttercream Antioxidant Lip Scrub. I'm taking a little bit onto my finger and then I'm just rubbing it on my lips. And of course, because it's edible, you can totally just lick it off too. <laughs> And then next, I'm gonna try out this uh, Lancome. It's like an eye corrector. And it's basically just a moisturizer for under your eyes because mine have just been feeling a little too dry lately. And I always like to use my ring finger and I just dab it like this. Right along the orbital bone. And then I'm gonna go ahead and rub it in. Ooh, that actually feels so nice under my eyes. All right, I love it. It's, by the way, it's called uh, Visionaire Yo, or Zio, which is like French for eyes. <laughs> now I'm trying um, a new primer. It's called Gimme Good Face. It's from Trust Fun Beauty. I got this in, I think it was either my Sephora Play or my Ipsy Glam Bag. So I'm gonna put this all around my face and then I'm also going to use my Tarte Clean Slate Primer down my forehead and the middle of my nose where, of course, that's like the oiliest places I have. All right, so moving on, I'm gonna start out with a foundation, of course, and I'm using the Hourglass Vanish Foundation. This is one of my favorites. It's just so beautiful, it melts into your skin, and I love that it comes in such a nice little stick form. And then I'm taking this cute little beauty blender, it's from um, SL Miss Glam, and I'm gonna be spreading that out. One of my favorite things about this is it kind of smells like a Hershey's Kiss, but it doesn't bother, you know, sensitive skin, because I have sensitive skin and it doesn't make me break out at all. It just smells so pleasant. <laughs> now that that's done, I'm gonna take my MAC, um, it's the Pro Longwear Powder, and I'm just going to set that and I'm using this brush. It's a Luxie 524T and I'm using light swirly motions. So then I'm gonna go ahead and move on to my brows. I'm doing things a little bit out of order. I just kind of wanted to switch things up. And I'm going to use my Anastasia. Um, this is the Brow Wiz and it's in the color Ebony. So I just use a spoolie and I brush everything into place. And I'm going for something more natural today. I just wanna fill in what I have since I already have pretty thick brows. And I'm using longer strokes here 
in the middle to go ahead and fill everything in. And now I'm just gonna outline that tail. Then I'm gonna take it towards the middle and use very light, small strokes. And now I'm gonna use that spoolie to go ahead and brush everything out to blend it together. Let's move on to the eyes. Today I'm going to be using Wet n Wild's eyeshadow primer. I use this in my drugstore tutorial and I really, really, really like it. And then I'm going to lightly dab it on here. Now this does have a little bit of a tint. It doesn't like blend in completely clear. So the only thing that I don't really like about this primer is that it does feel like really really tacky so that when you go to you know put it on you can feel you're kind of like fighting with it to like slide on your skin it doesn't spread as easily as i would like but in terms of actually making eyeshadow stick i can see why that works you feel me so for today's look i'm going to be using the naked palette so this is like an oldie but a goodie for me when i first got into makeup i loved this and then i kind of branched out and then i rediscovered it so i was like you know what i gotta use this for today so it just has so many beautiful you know um, different shadows and you can create so many looks I'm going to use the flesh toned well semi flesh toned color naked and I'm just gonna use that to pat along where I went ahead and added my primer so next up I'm going into the color buck and I'm gonna add that into my upper area as a nice transition. So I really want these colors to show up super intense and I know that with the Naked palette, you know, it does tend to go on pretty light with the pigmentation. So I'm using my Fix Plus, handy dandy Fix Plus, and um, just a flat eyeshadow brush and I'm gonna spray that on. I like to blow on it just to get it a little bit dry. And now I'm going into the color Smog, and I'm gonna apply that as my main lid color. Next up, I'm taking a different flat eyeshadow brush. This is from Wet n Wild, and I'm going into the color Dark Horse and applying that to the outer lid. And then I'm blending this in with the main lid color for a super nice transition. And it looks so good. I'm just gonna go ahead and take a blending brush and smooth that out. And now, of course, for my inner eyes, I'm going in with Half Baked. It's just a really pretty light golden color to really illuminate the eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and move on to eyeliner. I'm trying a new eyeliner today. It's the DHC Liquid Eyeliner. So what I love about this eyeliner is it's got a super fine and precise tip. So I was able to get this really sharp eyeliner so easily. I'm very impressed. It's definitely really good. Okay, so now that the liner is done, I'm gonna go in finally with concealer and clean up under the eyes and any shadow under my liner. And then I'm gonna do just a little bit of some highlighting. And I'm using an old favorite. This is NARS, uh, the color Amande, or Amand, however you pronounce it. <laughs> Oh my gosh, and I'm almost out too. This is like the worst. So today I'm not really feeling like a need to highlight my forehead, but you know, if that's something that you do, go ahead, do you boo. And to set my under eyes, I'm using a tad bit of the Kat Von D setting powder, and I'm also using the Pointed Top Kabuki brush, and I'm using this Ooh, I gotta dust off quite a bit there. 
I'm just gonna pat this under where I usually crease. I'm also going to put that down the center of my nose and also right under here, my chin. <laughs> and I'm going to use my Tarte brush. I forget what the name of this one is, but it's a dual ended brush and I'm gonna dust away everything. And to add some color to my skin, I'm using the Black Radiance Pressed Powder in Ebony. This is like an OG bronzer of mine. It never lets me down and I've just been using it forever. I've been using the same one. I just haven't run out yet. <laughs> and I'm also going to slightly, like very slightly contour my nose using the same powder. And this is the Kat Von D Concealer Brush, but I like to use it because it's like perfect for getting in that area. This here is the NYX Liquid Illuminator. I really want my highlight to be super popping, so I'm just going to add this to tops of my cheeks. And I'm gonna blend that in with my ring finger. See, it's like really subtle right there. And then of course, I gotta go in with my bay. This is Laura Geller's Gilded Honey. And I'm gonna go over right over where I added that highlight. Bing. Okay, so now I'm gonna add this down the center of my nose. And for my good old blush, I've got the Shea Moisture's Blush in Spice. I've got this brush too, this is the Angled Top Buffer, Luxie uh, 534. I'm just gonna literally dab this, look. It has so much color payoff. Hmm, what do we want to do for the lips? For the lips, I'm trying something new today. This is from Nude Sticks. It's their two-in-one um, lip and cheek pencil, and this is in the color Vintage. Okay, so that's it for today's look. I hope you guys really enjoyed this. So come back, don't forget, you gotta come back tomorrow for day four of seven days of Holiday Slay. And as always, I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.